Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'm building a vacuum chamber. The idea is pretty much the same to build a box that I can put the oil bath inside and then put it under vacuum to uh, put more oil inside my workpieces or the cutting boards in this case. Uh, the idea is pretty much the same as before to build a box, but this time instead of the MDF, I'm going to be using 2x4s and hoping that that extra thickness of material will prevent the collapse that we have seen last time. Uh, of course, the dimensions are quite different, so everything is again on a single piece of paper with other measurements, so let's get to it. So after sprinkling some magic fairy dust on the work pieces and me, well mostly me uh, from the looks of it, uh, this is what we have. So the long pieces will be the top and the bottom and then the short pieces will be the sides. Uh, for attaching them together I kind of uh, thought I was going to use angle brackets so I'm going to have to call my metal supermarket uh, tomorrow and figure out uh, the cost of these and basically grab a few so that I can, basi uh, can put them right here and screw the pieces together so that they don't move. Uh, there might be a, a, a little rework that needs to be done on the corners because the two pieces come together like this, forming this gap. And I need to do something so that the bag doesn't go into so many sharp corners and basically tear itself apart. So, um, I'm kind of basically uh, halfway through and hopefully tomorrow I'll get my um, angles and uh, complete the uh, setup and then we'll see what happens on the testing. And the vacuum chamber is done. Um, I must admit, it does look like a coffin a bit, <laughs> uh, but I assure you that's not its primary purpose. Uh, it is a lot more industrial than my previous unit, um, and it kind of borderlines overkill as well, but I have no desire to deal with another oily mess. So I made it as sturdy as possible. Uh, probably the front cover isn't as sturdy. Uh, you can see that you can flex it, so it's more like a wet noodle as opposed to a sturdy piece. But once everything kind of fits together, it, uh, it, it is a nice sturdy unit. Uh, you might be thinking that I did it wrong by putting the angle brackets on the inside. And you might be right, it is a little bit more difficult to screw and unscrew things in case I need to modify something. Uh, but I was thinking about the longevity of the vacuum bag. I don't want the vacuum bag to form over sharp edges uh, on the metal pieces as well as the uh, pan head screws uh, just to prevent from, you know, uh, tearing it apart. I mean, obviously I saved it with the uh, cleanup of the inside, so there is no need to risk another, uh, you know, possible damage to the bag with having uh, nice sharp edges on the outside, especially when I'm dragging this inside the bag. Uh, so the idea is this unit like this goes inside the bag. Then I have my tub that I can slide through. And as you can see, there is plenty of space to, for it to maneuver. 
and then as a final step I add the front cover and once the uh, vacuum is created and all the air pressure around it uh, uh, forms around the bag it is going to uh, fit nice and tight I am going to do a dry run and then I'm going to do the last thing that the bag needs and that's the uh, air holes for the air to escape from the inside uh, but there is no point in drilling any more holes uh, if it doesn't work so first I'm gonna do a dry run and then I'm gonna finish it with the air holes so let's get to the vacuum bag and see how it goes <laughs> so the hardest part was getting the thing inside the bag in one piece uh, obviously I did it uh, I would have preferred to have a third or a fourth hand uh, but I was able to do it with just two uh, and it's now time to uh, turn on the uh, vacuum pump uh, I'm gonna say I'm a little bit nervous uh, considering what happened last time and considering this is the first time I built this industrial unit uh, I'm naturally a little bit nervous as to what's going on. So this is as close to live as you can get. So this is the first time me doing it and we'll see how it goes. Uh, it might take a little while for all the air to get out. I mean, after all, it's a little bit of a huge uh, volume that the uh, pump needs to, to vacuum. So we'll see uh, how it goes. And here we go. So after about 10 minutes of sucking, air that is, uh, <laughs> uh, vacuum is created and it's holding steadily at 23 inches of mercury. Of course when I am doing the uh, oil bath I will run the pump continuously just to get uh, constant uh, air movement from the bag to the pump uh, and that will get all the air out of the wood as well. Uh, I'm quite pleased with the result. There were no cracks or squeaks or anything along those lines. It's holding steady. Uh, nothing seems to be buckling. And uh, I guess that would be a successful uh, dry run. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with the coffin, I mean uh, vacuum chamber. Uh, so next steps are me ordering another pail of finishing oil just to have on hand and sanding all of next week and probably over the weekend I will be uh, actually doing the uh, oiling uh, and at that point we're going to be doing the before and after just to see how much of oil the wood absorbed and uh, that's it for this video if you liked it make sure to like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video uploads also follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on patreon